Mike Tyson arrived early morning and he arrived with a smile. He arrived with great feelings to be here in this beautiful country. Uh, we are joined by Evander Holyfield. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Gapur Rakimov, the father of boxing in Uzbekistan. Mr. Gapur is responsible for this convention and he's responsible for hosting us and we are very proud and thankful for everything that has been happening. At this moment uh, we're going to do a session of one on one or one of too many uh, to discuss whatever Mike Tyson, whatever Evander Holyfield would like to share and respond questions from anyone who wants to address Mike and Evander. And uh, we'll just say welcome to have Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson in the same room next to each other. I feel that this is a great moment, a soul missing, a double missing convention. So, Mike, what would you like to tell everyone that is here? Hey, Assalamu alaikum. And um, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be uh, invited here. I've been here on three different occasions, um, just for recreation. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm looking forward to all the events. So thank you. How was your flight, Mike? My flight was really long. <laughs> really long. Is there anything you would like to tell your good friend Evander, who is right here? Well, I just left the band in Saudi Arabia a week ago. I mean, man, that's a chance. It was like a lot of fun. Okay. Evander, what would you like to do today? Mike. What do you want to say to Mike? Here. <laughs> 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 I would like to ask both of you, now you are 50 years old, over 50, almost 60. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All my credibility. <laughs> you were young and you worked so hard to become what you became inside of me. So what we'd like to know is what would you tell a 20-year-old kid who is dreaming of becoming a champion, what would you tell uh, to that kid that doesn't know what's going to happen when he becomes famous, when he becomes rich, when he's a champion? What would you tell, what would you teach? And if there's anything that you want to be known for someone that only when you live through it, you live it and you understand it, but you don't take it. What would you tell that kid? Well, listen, uh, first of all, you can prepare somebody for success, but you can't prepare them on the hand of success. So uh, he's going to have to go through life on life terms. He's going to have to navigate that on himself. It's very difficult, very rare that someone listens to somebody else's advice. Sometimes they have to fill up the pot and fill the water's hot. Uh, it's all about life on life terms. You learn from life experience. Life is our greatest teacher. That's what I would say. Hey, 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 sir, sir, sir. Hey, hey, sorry. Yeah, I'm just saying, anybody that's looking to be successful in anything in life, I mean, a, a golf scan collector, a bug collector, anything that you want to be the best in the world at, there's going to be disappointment. And if how, it depends on how you handle your disappointments, your losses, if you're going to be successful or not. So life is all about loss more than success. You have to lose in order to win. In life in general, not just in fighting, but in life in general. Nobody comes in life <clears throat> running off the fence, winning. They have to lose in order to win. Understand winning, you have to understand losing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What would you tell to a young kid who is starting life? Uh, what would you have done differently? If somebody had told you and warned you what happens when you become famous and rich? Well, 
three things and this is why the election never quite but those are the things that we very hard to to overcome because just know how many is good and bad are there any questions? Does anybody have any questions to Mike, Evander, or Mr. Kapu? Yeah, me. Mike, welcome to Uzbekistan. Uh, what is your opinion having Francis Ngannou as number 10 in the rankings? He did a great job. And um, number 10 is too low. <laughs> he did a great job with the greatest fight of our time. And um, that needs to, be, needs to be noticed. The question was what Mike Tyson thinks about Francis and Gann entering the ratings of number 10. And his response is too low. He really he, he, made a snake. He, he, first time in boxing, fight for the heavyweight champion. Gives the greatest headway of him there, and um, he deserves a lot of a lot of redemption after that. Hey, who, hey who, Mike, who trained? Who trained Francis? Well, it was me and uh, uh, and uh, and, uh, and, uh <laughs> Mike, can you share, please? How's the feeling to receive so many love around the world, Mexico, here in Pakistan? Maybe in Mars, you receive love. How's the feeling? Gratitude, a lot of gratitude. Um, everything, things could have went backwards, could have been a different direction. And like we were saying earlier about young kids, just never give up on life, never give up. And um, only time things go bad is when you give up on life. And once you give up, all the doors of opportunity, they start to close. As long as you're trying to go at the possible day, you're going to go to one of those doors of opportunity. Thank you. James Lewis? Uh, my the question being, um, you were a great boxer, and now you prepare for some very great performance very recently. Were you able to take the inspiration of your trainer, Richard and Customato, and learn that some of us are from him to convert to be what you're doing now? Everything that I do is based off of Customato concerning boxing in my life. Yeah, so everything I do concerning fighting definitely is, has great input from customers. You know, the whole thing is, of course, I hear you. Come here, come back, my hands up. You have a career. You have a career in boxing, right here. Nowadays, you have amateur boxing in the Olympics, you got the hand in the no hand. What are your thoughts on this? Should they have a hand in or no hand? <laughs> His question is, should amateur boxing continue with the headgear? Oh, headgear. Well, for me, I'm glad that I had headgear because, you know, back to the battle, you know, we didn't get into unnecessary headbutts to most. I, and, uh, and, you know, getting cut. And I, I, I thought the headgear actually helped him to be a better uh, professional fighter. Than we we for that. We want the hand. Thank you, Mr. Boss. The whistle, not the hand. We don't want that. So, I wonder. Hi. You have been in Uzbekistan for a long, for far, four or five days now. How do you see the uh, Uzbekistan boxing and how they grow? How is going to grow here with all the support of Mr. Gafur and? The thing is, uh, they got a lot of good people. Want them to be better, and that's what comes. Uh, I think about the people that's over the day, they gather together, they, they, they support you to become better. And, uh, if I didn't have the people around me, I probably wouldn't be a person that I, I am today. Thank you. Actually, uh, I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, 1977, Muhammad Ali is going to Bangladesh. So I have talking with my Bangladesh sports minister. He said, you invite him to Mr. Mike Tyson and Mr. Evander Holyfield come to Bangladesh. So I'm coming here to inviting you and Evander Holyfield. 2024 October, 
both of you are coming to Bangladesh. We are inviting you and Vipanda uh, Holyfield, sir. So, what do you think? Like that, you have time to go? Same thinking. Good advice, sir. Any other questions? Mauricio, I truly believe that only WBC can bring and can give this moment. This is magic. How, how is it the feeling to be in the middle of, of these great, great warriors? Well, the feeling is, I feel Jose Sulaiman is sitting right here. Right Amen. Here. My father had so much love for Mike, for Ivan. Evander was the confirmation of the cruiserweight division when the WBC was criticized for creating a new weight category. He gave that division uh, glory and made it official. He came into heavyweight, became four-time heavyweight champion. Mike Tyson became heavyweight champion at the age of 20. He was a WBC loyal supporter for all time and when my father passed away i received one phone call and it was mike class and he said brother after the condolences he said uh, please continue in the wbc i will always be with you and this is the reality he's always with the wbc he's always respectful he has changed his life and become an unbelievable inspiration to everyone. Has a beautiful wife, Ivander has a beautiful wife, they are family men, and they are such a great inspiration to everyone. Uh, and that, that's all I can say, it's a great moment. I really need to thank Mr. Gafur Rakimov for his hospitality, for his vision, for his understanding that this is what makes a country begin with the band. We needed Mike Tyson, we needed Holyfield, we needed Chiquita Gonzalez, Duran, Chavez. I can only ask uh, the champions to join us up here, uh, Shannon Briggs, uh, the champions that are here right now, they will join us. But Mr. Rakimov, thank you so much. Uh, would you like to please express what are your feelings of the WBC Convention? Dear Mauricio, thank you very much for bringing bringing the convention of Bekesa and making it happen and uh, bringing these great boxers, legends of Bekesa. Uzbekistan is a boxing country, and I'm very sure after these events, the boxing status and reputation will go much higher. And I wish that I will be doing everything for our organization in the future, and uh, to meet each other more often. Thank you once again. And I would like to thank uh, the President of Uzbekistan, His Excellency Mr. Mirziyoyev. Without whose help, it would be impossible to stage this convention. And uh, I'd like to say that in the future we'll be inviting more and more, if they are available, the legends of Pakistan, like Tyson, 
Mike Tyson and Holyfield, Chavez, Steven Senadores, and in any others. Uzbekistan, so it will be like their second homeland. Thank you very much once again. And I wish the convention was at your expectations and could meet your requirements. We have here some of the champions that have uh, honored us with their presence. Adonis Stevenson, Billy Dave, the beautiful Japanese Nihongo. <laughs> Umi Ishikawa, Chiquita Gonzalez, Michael Magnesi, Raja. The champ is here. Let's go, champ! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the closing of the WBC convention. We are uh, so sentimental. It took so many months of preparation, so many hours of work. I want to express my deepest gratitude to every single member of the WBC staff. These men and women that have so many sleepless hours preparing so many things to make this a reality. To thank the staff of Mr. Gapur, so many people. Mr. Gapur is a man of family. He got his daughters, his sons, his wife, attentive at every single detail. I have never experienced the hospitality that we have been granted in this time. I like to thank the translators, the technical staff, the hotel staff, everyone that has given us so many smiles and so many attention.